Hi, I'm going to show you some ways to make three-dimensional solid figures. And we're going to start with a cube. So one way I know of is to go ahead and draw a square. And then I find the exact center of the square and put a dot. And I'll make that the bottom left corner of my second square. So I'll draw my second square here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect each corner. So the top left corner to the top left corner, top right corner to top right corner, and so on, until I have a cube. So that's the one, the first way I know of. The second way is to just go ahead and make a square. And then off of each of these three corners, I'm going to draw a line. And it's really important that this line is the same angle. I'll show you an example where the lines are the same angle, and then I'll show you one where the, the lines are at different angles, and we'll see the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and make a line here, keeping with the same angle here, and keeping with the same angle here. And then I'm going to connect them. And I have a pretty good cube. Now I'll make another one and show you what it looks like when you don't keep the angles the same. So if I do this and connect these lines, it really doesn't look like a cube. And so it's really important that you keep this angle as close to this angle as you can and this angle close to that angle. And one way I've found to do that is to lay my pencil down on this line right here and then slide it over, keeping that same angle. And then just I get a, a visual. And I can draw that line and then slide it down and draw this line. So that's the two ways that I know how to make a cube. And with this first example, if you take an eraser once you're done, if you don't like the transparent cube, you can make get an eraser and just go ahead and erase the inner lines. And it'll look just like the second cube that we made. like that. Now with all of these shapes, you can always go back and add shading. Shading is a tool that artists use to also create the impression of three dimensions. And so with all these shapes, if you add shading, you're going to come out with a more realistic object. So that's a cube. And now let's go ahead and look at how to make a rectangular prism. And again, you can just go and start by drawing a rectangle. And it's very similar to the first way I showed you to make a cube. And I'll use the middle of this rectangle as the bottom of my second rectangle. And depending on how thick you want this rectangular prism, you'll put draw this um, second rectangle either closer or farther away from these outer lines. And then again, we just go ahead and connect it. So that's an example where this second rectangle is in the middle. Let me show you what it looks like if we place it closer to the bottom. So if I go ahead and make this second rectangle here, this rectangular prism is going to be a little more shallow than the other one that I drew. So that's one way to draw a rectangular prism. The second way is to just go ahead and draw a rectangle. And then just like with, this, with the cube, draw angled lines, all the same angle, off of this rectangle, and then connect them. And there I have a rectangular prism. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a square pyramid. And the first thing to do is just go ahead and draw a triangle. And then off the triangle, just draw another line and then connect it to that bottom corner. And again, you can enhance this even more by just adding a little shading. And that's going to make it look even more three-dimensional. So again, you draw a triangle. 
and then off one of the sides, draw a line. And depending on how short or long this line is, the pyramid is going to be shorter, appear shorter or taller. So I'll make another one and show you the difference. So here's one, and that line's longer, so the pyramid's going to appear even a little bit a little bit taller, less um, wide here at the base. So it's all in how long the line is and the angle that you use to draw it with. So there's another example. Next, I'll show you how to draw a sphere. And the easiest thing to do with that is to start with a circle. And then just add some contour lines and shading to this circle. And you want to keep these contour lines at the same angle as the outside of the circle. And by doing that, it creates the illusion that it has three dimensions. So there's one example. This pen is hard to work with sometimes. If you have pencil, it's a lot easier to smear the shading and go from a light amount of shading to darker shading. But you can see just by adding these curved lines, it helps give the illusion that this is a sphere and not a circle. I'll show you how to make a cylinder now. With the cylinder, you can start also with a circle. I prefer to start more with an oval shape though, and then draw two parallel lines. And then go ahead and match the curve of this line with the curve of your oval or circle here. Now to enhance this even more, I would go ahead and add some other contour lines here and here, almost like stripes, and then add a little shading. Maybe make it darker here, and then as I go up here, um, make it a little bit lighter. And even make some shadows here. So again, um, you can make an oval or a circle here, then two parallel lines, and then it's really important that you match this curve at the end here. You don't want to make this one another circle, you just want to match this curve on this end, and then you can enhance it with shadows. or just some curved lines. That's going to make it look even more like a cylinder. So the last thing I'll show you how to draw is a cone. And with a cone, you can start with a couple different ways. You can start with the base being a circle or an oval, and then to uh, top it off with part of a triangle, and then again add curved lines and some shading to help it look curved. And again, you want to match this curve with any shadows or any lines that you add up here. And you could then, if you wanted to make this a hat, you could add some tassels here at the top. Another way is just to draw the bottom half, like a smiley face almost, and then the top part of a triangle. And then again, you can add some shadows to enhance this.